Hey, hi, Darknet developers. I'm Shahin Shah. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add Microsoft Ads into your Windows applications. So for this, first, you need to create a universal Windows application. You can create either uh, WinJS, JavaScript, or any C Sharp universal Windows application. So for this, I have created a WinJS project because I'm uh, good at uh, JavaScript so I have created a UWP WinJS project and then you need to have a dev developer account on uh, Windows developers so once you have created a developer account so go ahead and then for suppose I have created a new app called fitness activity tracker so I'm going to that application once you reserve that applications you have to start submission first so once you go ahead and select the pricing properties and age ratings then stop it here you can't have the package because our application is not yet ready so before you have to finish this then you have to go to monetization click on monetize with ads and here there are different options but uh, really to earn money you need to go for Microsoft advertising ad units so click on show options and then you can create a new name fitness activity tracker this name should be unique so let me give FT5 here you can select a device family PC or mobile so I'll be going ahead with a PC or a tablet So here you can see that uh, I a new ad unit is created and this application ID and unit ID is what really we use in our uh, project. So I'm going ahead I have created a Windows uh, JS application and then uh, this is my index.html page and in this I'm going to add my ad. So to add it first you need to download so first you need to download the Microsoft uh, Store Services SDK so you should have a developer account and then you need to create add unit in dev center download SDK so download URL I am giving uh, this download URL so here you can download the SDK once you download install it and after the installation you need to restart your visual studio so once you have downloaded you have to click add reference so go to visual studio right click on references add reference here you can see once it is installed you can see Microsoft advertising SDK for JavaScript if it is C sharp then it is C sharp if you don't see that then SDK installation didn't go well so I have selected this and I'm clicking on OK so now I have the capability to add store things and uh, advertise on my project so how to add the code and the code for uh, adding this is really simple I'll go ahead and uh, show you how to add the code if you see this page this page has code so let me copy paste this link for you quick so if it is your universal windows application you need to copy this a single line of script so I'm just keeping it at a header head of HTML and then you just need to copy paste this small portion for displaying an ad so I'm giving this so this is actually having an application ID and add unit these are test values but I would like to replace them with the values which I have created right now so let me go ahead and replace with one of the add values so don't forget you have to replace this uh, test application ID and unit ID values so with your production values I am replacing it with uh, my production values and here you can see the width and height Microsoft determines the ad with the help of width and height whichever uh, you give and it is appeared as is and it is mandatory that you should be following only a specific height and width as per Microsoft documentation so 
here you can see the supported height and width for windows 10 and windows 8 and also for mobile i'm giving this link and you should be having only those suggested height and width so let me go ahead and suggested height and width so i'm going ahead and i would like to create this 728 and 90 in my application it apps for my application so let me go ahead and show you it is changing this value to 728 we should have exact values to display ads and uh, mind minded that uh, it will take at least uh, 10 to 15 minutes to show up new ads if you added the code and you have added the references and you have added your script then if it is not showing then wait for some time and then uh, check it after half an hour it should be uh, good enough to show even after half an hour one hour you are not able to see the code then it's an issue so i'm clicking my local and i should be able to see an ad here right now yes this is my ad so this is how you place an ad in your microsoft uh, windows application and here you can see so let me go to this so here you can see how many uh, times it has been clicked and all this on developer console in dev center so if i go this is microsoft advertising performance impression zero fill rate zero monthly ad revenue zero because i am just started uh, developing so once you have developed and it is published in windows store as per the user impressions and use per user clicks you will be able to get the revenue and uh, how to get the revenue is uh, to check out i mean uh, you should be having a developer account obviously and you should be setting your tax profile and also you should be setting your payment method so go to your account settings and then here you can see payout account so in this payment account you can add paypal or you can also add bank accounts and then you have to finish this uh, tax profile as well so this is how adding an ad so these ads will be dynamically generated and also these ads will be requested multiple times sometimes it, the ad won't be showing sometimes the ad will be showing it is not 100% guarantee that ad will be displayed every time but most of the times the ad will be displayed so this is how if you have any questions and if it is not working for you just comment below and i will be able to i will try to answer at my best available time thank you and check out my other video about how to uh, add the server notifications from dev center